going on? I want to give <clears throat> much respect and props to Victor Blackwell, CNN anchor, who was very emotional and passionate. And when he counted back, Donald Trump's racist ran against Elijah Cummins and called Baltimore rat infested, road infested area. And Victor Blackwell was very, he was crying, but he was, he was, he was telling the truth. He said he was born, bred there, grew up there, graduated from there. Family gave dabs and props to the hardworking people of Baltimore, as did brother Colin Kaepernick, who said he remembers Baltimore for the woods, as did Obama, Michelle, they gave it up respect. And I applaud to see black folks coming up here, standing up to that racist bully known as Donald Trump. Victor Blackwell, it's one of the few times that when you watch the news, you really catch real raw emotion on air. Nothing staged. Just letting it go. Cut to the chase, sharing your feelings and saying, yo, all due respect, you can't be dogging where I came from because this is bigger. This is something that is part of who I am. This is my foundation. This is what got me to where I am. How dare you sit there and use such terms? And if anybody is accountable for any infestation or debris, it's the United States government and other powers it be. Because to sit there and use a place as a means to say how bad it is as an insult. So I applaud Victor Blackwell 100%. As I said in previous videos, Waste toxic dump places is nothing new. If you grew up in projects and hoods or what have you, and I grew up in one back in the day, I grew up in a couple of situations, they allowed the city debris to be there because it was black folks. Let's call it what it is, environmental racism. They don't be caring about you. So this is bigger than a representative or something. You can only do something with the budget. It's not like you could sit there and plot and ploy against it because it's controlled by a bigger picture. Believe me, <clears throat> what Whack Trump don't want to talk about is that and his son-in-law is a slumlord. So well, that's another video I'm going to get into. But the point is this. These things have long ago been there. So you, it's bigger than what they're saying and what you're seeing. But I applaud Victor Blackwell for speaking from the heart speaking from the soul and from the mind and shutting down Trump's racist bully behind. I really applaud what he said. So I just want to give him thanks for tolerance it for what the boss, what he grew up, how he felt and what he saw. And also props to Colin Kaepernick and the Obamas. And black folks is a wake up call. Get Trump's butt, get his racist behind up out of there. Cause he's going to go full circle for the middle and upper black folk too. This ain't just on the low. This ain't just, this a full swing. He letting you know what he really think and feel about us. Wake up. All right, that's my take. Feel free to hit the thoughts, hit the comments. I welcome those comments. Hit the like button. And when the bell rings, it's a new video. Respect to Victor Blackwell and to yourself. Peace.